Hello everybody, Christian from the Coin Dictionary here, and today we're going to be talking about the 1944 50 centavos coin from the Philippines, also as a United States Commonwealth at that point. So there's a lot to learn, very historic coin, but we'll be discussing its value more towards the end, as well as things like mintage, the historical background, and really what you want to know as a basic overview here. So we'll start with the design. Um, it's Lady Liberty, um, and she has a dress here. Um, you know, flowing in the wind behind her is a Philippine volcano, Mount Mayon, in the background, and then in front, obviously, hammer and anvil, the identifying information. Kind of a big coin, 27.5 millimeters across and 2 millimeters of thickness, but then we get to the back and we see United States of America 1944S, um, and that is San Francisco, so this was made in the United States and shipped abroad for use in the Philippines. Um, and in terms of the shield here, it's pretty worn but that was the U.S. Commonwealth Shield. Now, this coin is 75% silver, um, so there's obviously going to be some silver value kind of as a base of, you know, probably like 6 or $7 at current silver prices, but that's really not all that there is in terms of the value on this coin. Uh, it was made to just kind of circulate like any other coin would, uh, and this Commonwealth period lasted from 1935 to 1946, so... Um, but but it did circulate beyond the 40s. Um, this specific design was just a two-year issue, 1944 and 1945, and the 50 centavos would be one half of a peso. And like I said, that uh, I believe I mentioned that that peso uh, gets demonetized in 1967. Now there, um, in terms of the mintage, are 19,187,000 of these made. Um, and in terms of the basic value, I'd say that these coins are worth about eight or nine dollars. So definitely they carry a premium just because it is quite historic that, you know, these coins are not super, super widely minted, but they are United States coins and they were made for a totally different entity. So people just ascribe some collectible value to that. Um, and an uncirculated coin might be like 12 to 15 dollars, though. Really nice examples, um, especially toned ones or just really, really high graded ones will certainly command significant premiums. And for those you want to look in some of the auction records, but that should give a good overview of this coin. Thanks for watching the video. I'm Christian, the founder of the Coin Dictionary Project, and I'd encourage you to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and check out my other channel, Treasure Town, and subscribe to that as well. If you're interested in supporting the channel financially, there are links below that are mostly affiliate links where you can purchase something you probably would have been buying anyways, and by going through my link when you buy, there will be a kickback directly to the Coin Dictionary project that will help support its operations. Hope to see you on some of my other videos, as well as on my channel Treasure Town.